one day old and he's going through withdrawal. Knoxville, Tennessee is drowning in prescription drug abuse. And the babies here at East Tennessee Children's Hospital are the smallest victims. We are transporting a baby for neonatal abstinence syndrome to the NICU. Neonatal abstinence syndrome, or NAS, is the process of withdrawal in a baby. In the first few days and weeks of life after exposure to certain medications in utero. What are the symptoms of NAS babies? What, what are they going through when they're born? The common things that we see are uh, a very difficult, hard to console baby. They're very uncomfortable. They have a characteristic piercing cry that like we're you, hearing that you right hear right now. now. They're very jittery, irritable. Sometimes they have seizures. Vomiting, diarrhea, difficulty with feedings is also very common. Dr. John Buckheit says the babies here with NAS experience the same side effects as adults going through withdrawal. You can see how she's mottled and how frantically she's sucking on her pacifier. Since February, about half the infants here are NAS babies. They stay an average of 24 days. So what is she going through right now? Right now with this baby, what you're seeing is she's having tremors. Her muscles are pretty tight right now. You can see how her arms are really just locked tight. She's what called hypertonic? Hypertonic is what that's called. Andrew Presnell works solely with NAS babies. This increased muscle tone, you get two points. The severity of their withdrawal is scored on a point system. She's going to get more points if she is just laying there not being touched at all and she is shaking like she is now. She could get three to four points just from that. Two scores over eight points can send them to a special unit here. As babies go through withdrawal, they are extremely sensitive to noise and light. So the hospital built a wing of private rooms to accommodate the flood of NAS babies. But there still aren't enough spots for all the babies who need them. Morphine is our drug of choice for the babies with the neonatal abstinence syndrome. I'm going to give the initial dose of morphine. We're starting her on 40 micrograms. Since the epidemic is relatively new, there's no national consensus on how to treat NAS babies. Here, they give them morphine. She'll know what to think about this grape flavor. The babies get small but frequent doses because opioid withdrawal is extremely painful. We put them on a small dose of morphine, and then over the next several days, or sometimes several weeks, we gradually decrease that dose and then wean them off. I'm gonna calm down. I'm gonna calm down. I'm gonna go. Addiction to prescription pain medicine forces pregnant women, even those who want to quit, to make a painful choice. I wasn't a good mom whatsoever. I mean, you know, it was my addiction that came before anything. April Russell has been fighting addiction to pain pills for most of her adult life. Two years ago, she turned to methadone to fight her addiction. Why were you on methadone? Because I didn't know what else to do, and I know that I needed help, you know, to be able to stop my addiction. Where's the princess? Pregnant women who are addicted to drugs like crack are encouraged to quit. But with pain meds, the baby is just as dependent as the mother. If she quits cold turkey, the baby could die in utero from withdrawal. Guided by her doctor, April did what she thought was best for her baby and stayed on methadone for her entire pregnancy. The end result? Mariah was born dependent on drugs. What did that feel like to know that your use of methadone had caused her so much suffering? Oh, it's, I mean, I can't explain it. I mean, it killed me. I mean, still today, I mean, it's, it's hard, but <laughs> sorry. A recent state health department survey found that about a third of pregnant women in state treatment programs are addicted to prescription pain meds. It's made the NICU unit here 
a pioneer in the treatment of dependent babies. Other states are looking to this hospital for guidance. What do you think needs to be done to calm down this epidemic? Uh, I think we as a society have got to uh, get a better handle on the way we approach drug use from uh, prescribing, uh, from the physician standpoint, from the use of uh, narcotics from a patient or, or personal standpoint, and even from a legislative standpoint. We're getting numbers and numbers of babies with the uh, neonatal abstinence syndrome. If the babies continue coming here with that problem, we're going to treat them as necessary and we're going to keep loving on them just like we are now. Looks like she's going to smile a little bit. Amber Lyon, CNN, Knoxville, Tennessee.